Thank you for calling. Burr rated. B rated uh, movies. Where B rated isn't a bad word. I'm Anthony. Anthony, this is Brian with a B. You answer the phone really professionally to this evening and everything okay? Yeah, I'm good. All right. You just said it really nice. <laughs> Instead of hello. You know? I mean, I, I don't ever want to answer the phone hello. Oh, I'm not dude. at my house. Dude. <laughs> It's funny. Uh-huh. Mm. Hey, man, how you been? I'm good. How have you been? Good. Good seeing, you know, what you're doing tonight, man. Uh, Well, tonight... Maybe hang out sometime. Yeah. What? I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, tonight we're watching uh, the 2024 uh, horror movie Cinderella's Curse. What? Yeah. This is uh, directed by Louisa Warren. Hold on. I got some high, some high hopes on this one, man. Now that you have, for the first time, ever told me that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it stars Kelly Rianne Sanson. No way. Chrissy Wanna. Get the f- get out of here. <laughs> Lauren Budd. <gasps> Natasha Tosini. What? And Danielle Scott. Damn. That's a fucking roster right there. I'm, I'm telling you. The uh the the Jagged Edge people are really uh they're they're raising their game. That's solid. Hey man, you ever seen the movie uh The Room? Um uh, yes. All right. So now two part question on that okay. one. Man. That was the All first right. part. All right, you ever bring food into the bedroom during sexy time? No. Like how they did, like it was really weird scene. It, it is a very weird scene. There's they, a lot of very weird scenes. Where they're in eating that movie. chocolate literally from each other's mouths. That that's creepy. That's pretty weird. Like I remember when, you know, I think I was like 13, had my first French kiss, and I was like, "Hey, this isn't my gum." And I was like, "Hell yeah, it is now." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'd never been like, "Hey, babe, you should eat some of this chocolate. It tastes really good." <laughs> Let me, let me baby bird you some chocolate. Right? Yeah. No. What the fuck? That's gross. There's got to be a, like, you know, there's got to be a cut off of some food into the room. Yeah. You know? Like on fucking... I'm not as... South Central, there's like, here's a hot dog. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of like food in the bed because it's like crumbs. crumbs. Yeah. No. You know? Yeah. But, yeah, man. Saw that movie the other day. I was like, what the fuck? Just eat chocolate from each other's mouths, huh? That's really what that's how you get AIDS. Isn't it? Uh I, I don't think that's exactly how it works. So it starts, I guess. <laughs> Maybe. But all right. Cinderella's curse, huh? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put this motherfucker on. All right. <laughs> food is in the night. holder shining. All right, we're back with the beginning of Cinderella's Curse. I really hope that this is going to fuck it. You know, so have you heard how Cinderella's the real story ends, apparently? That fucking after Cinderella becomes the princess or queen, whatever, that she goes back and fucking murders her stepsisters and turns them into jam and jelly and fucking gives it to the stepmom. I'll believe that because a lot of those old dude, uh, a lot of them are fucked up. They're like fucked that. up stories, yeah. God damn, the ones we tell kids now are a lot, a lot better. Like fucking Red Little Red Riding Hood, like um, Sleeping Beauty. I haven't heard Sleeping Beauty. The one. I'll I'll tell you about that one. Mm-hmm. So we're opening up with a fucking beautiful, again, like a Rolling Hills. Yeah, so many movies are filmed in the Secret of Rowan Irish. Is that I a pot field? God damn, that was just somebody's personal stash. <laughs> like, that's like, we don't have a budget to go to the mountains, but I know you got some weed in your fucking bathtub growing, so let me just roll over those like that. So then now we're in like a like a dungeon? A torture chamber? Yeah, and this this lady is uh is is tied to a pole. Trying to escape. And 
this uh this guy in <coughs> his uh when his, are we what his, time zone this, is this or Not what time zone what time period yeah so like, this is central time bitch. like 17 or 1800s like what's he wearing you know what i'm saying he's wearing like um like a leather vest kind of like a jerkin and is that a, what it's called yeah and like a long no fucking way yeah well, let's and, ask uh, the people. And like a long sleeve puffy shirt. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, it's called the Jerkin. The pirate shirt. Yeah. The the Jerry Seinfeld shirt. <laughs> That's such a fucked up <laughs> thing to do. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Um They're gonna get I so, guarantee people are gonna be like, oh, it's a dance. So now <laughs> oh, so there's this book, this like the, kind of like the Evil Dead book. Oh, like hell yeah. it's got like an eye on it and it's God, all stitched together. What the fuck? And so this guy, he she begs him not to open it and he starts opening it and all these drawings show up on the papers. Mm, he's a magician. <laughs> or it's like just you know when you hold the spine of the book on the top and then it And then all of a sudden he's being surrounded by people. What the shit? And she's like, I told you not to do that. And are they oh, flinching? Geez. They're doing the they're crumping. So these are like eyeless crump dancing. Like, creepy people. Untie me darling. She just called him darling, huh? Yeah. Um I don't think I don't know what kind of fight they're in, but you know. Oh, so she think or he's got her tied up because he thinks she's like doing witchcraft, I guess. I mean, right there, there's a proof in the book. You know, this is the 1700s, like you said. Yeah. Uh, he opened up the books, and all of a sudden, nope, then there her eyes are. Fucking solid black. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to rip apart your soul. Oh, wow, so she... Like I ripped apart... Uh, apart? Ripped, ap- it ripped apart your daughters? Damn. And so then he like goes behind her and slashes her throat. That did look like some cool blood coming out. That was. That was. That it was... wasn't human blood. And I, I witchcraft blood. I also like uh, how there's like almost like n- there's no rest period in between her saying what she said and the getting her throat slit. Yeah, no. Kind of cut hit you out of nowhere. I like that. Yeah. Don't fucking talk about it. Be about it. So then he's running in the forest and foggy forest, and he is he going to bury her? I thought that he was going to like start that gigantic bundle of wood on fire, then just jump in it. <laughs> You know, his head's bleeding somehow. Oh, yeah. So, now his head is bleeding. How, though? And now he's crying on a on a dress. Yeah. This was his favorite dress, I bet. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh, is that his kid? There's a little kind of a baby in it. What the shit? Now there's some ugly-ass woman that looks like motherfucking pumpkin head. Yeah, there's this, and She's like, picking him up by his head. This lady that looks like she's been skinned. Damn. Doesn't even have to cut his head. She lifted him she up. She literally pulled his head off his neck. And then... And that ends up in the book. Ooh, is this going to be like a scary story to tell in the dark? Kinda. But the pictures happen after it happened? Yeah. That's fucked up. Well, if like... Well, if I guess that wouldn't work. I was like, what happens if like it was a picture of you dead on a toilet? And you're just like, wait a second. And then they're like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> you're like no because that <laughs> no that's a terrible way because then everybody's gonna remember it so now is that, is that how elvis supposedly passed yeah he died on the toilet is so, he still alive like tupac no, he, Tupac he, still alive. neither of them are alive mm. Mm. so so now cinderella gets thrown through a like through a door by i'm assuming the stepmother just and then a servant girl and then we cut over to another hallway, and one of the stepsisters is, um, oh. like messing around with a guy. And he says, "Maybe we should have a little fun with the servant girl." Oh, he's trying to get that menage. Oh, and then she goes down. Oh wow! So she's you know. Damn, they used to do this in the seventeen hundreds, huh? Okay. This yeah. Is where Fladen came, <laughs> but you know what? They didn't brush their teeth though, so that's gotta be really fucked up for him. Yeah. All right, so now we're back. Is that Cinderella the blonde? Yeah, Cinderella's the blonde, and that's the stepmother who is right. scolding her. Looks like she's getting ready to fucking show Nuffer into a barrel of water. And basically oh. telling her, you're going to leave. You're, and she's so, looking in the mirror like, 
You see who's in that mirror? A nerd. All right. And then the like, guy kicked her right in the ribs, huh? Yeah. Damn. And just walks away and laughs. Wow. I like how the stepmother's wearing like the all black, so she looks like she's evil. Yeah. And then she kicked her in the ribs. In case you didn't know that she was evil. Oh. So now she's uh writing in uh her book in front she's of the having fire. like flashes of like murdering people yeah you know it's not a normal thing to have flashes about well i mean i guess when everybody treats you like shit then you know a little bit of revenge in your mind is i mean have pride expected. in your work <laughs> and you want to get scolded for doing you know wow incompetent <laughs> wow wow brian i said medium rare all right this is clearly medium <laughs> All right. 130. How hard is it to get it between 125 and 130? I go with medium well. Don't you dare eat a steak medium well. <laughs> I do. I like it well done, please. Then just get fucking chicken. That that's Betty. Or beef jerky. So now we're uh we're at breakfast. God, and, these skanks. And the stepsisters there we are go. just like grabbing all the food and dumping it on their plates. Okay, well, Three Polish sausages for breakfast, huh? And some fucking. Oh, and they're going to give her one. Who eating, the fuck? Are they in oh, London? They're... Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Where's so, the beans? The baked beans? Really? That's why your teeth are fucked up. So they're like, you're eating nothing but sausages and oh. baked beans. And then. So that's no ta- Natasha Tosini right there as one of She's the evil stepsisters. Beanie. Like she taunts her with uh, a sausage and then eats it in front of her. It's like, oh, look at this. And then she's a glizzy gobbler and, and <laughs> eats that glizzy. So then uh so then Cinderella leaves and uh the maid is a bigger uh, maid. Like, oh, she's concerned about the maid because the maid fell. And they're arguing over whether or not the maid needs to work because she hurt herself. On oh, the stepmoms I've seen soldiers fight on worse injuries that Really? It's like when Michael Scott's like, I have a ton of 13-year-old friends. And he's like, you know, a bunch of 13-year-old girls. <laughs> so then Cinderella's having more visions of murdering the fucking stepmom. Which, I mean, that's a really shitty thing to say to somebody. You know, like, soldiers can fight through it. It's like, okay, shut the fuck okay, up. Okay, well, guess what? I'm not a soldier. I'm a fucking yeah. maid. Yeah. So, suck on that. That is a beautiful-ass castle, though, dude. Like, damn. This is. you had a fat-ass castle like that that had, like, Wi-Fi, electricity, and flushable toilets... I know. And a pool. That'd be awesome. Be official. Yeah. You know how many freaking P. Diddy freak off parties you could have there? So Infinite. Apparently, uh there or like her dad um what is in fuck? town and the maid has a little boy that lives with her. They her don't know son. when they're gonna be back, yeah. And yeah, so the maid has a little boy who brings well, I mean, out he probably looks like he's like eight or nine. Like, brings out a fucking piece of shit loaf of bread and tears off these two giant pieces. I can't remember what kind of bread that's called, but it's not a loaf of bread. It's like a round of bread. Yeah, it's like a round loaf. And he like gets like he was going to get wheezy and pass out because they wrapped his mom's leg. It was like a super high or really low shin sprain. It wasn't even her ankle. Yeah. Like what the fuck could have happened? So now like, like a white carriage pulls up and they're all out there waiting. So I'm God. assuming this is the father. Fuck no. I'm going to guess that this is somebody going to invite these bitches to the ball tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Cinderella. I'm assuming. Because they love balls. So we have, <laughs> uh, I'm assuming, mom, dad, and... King Trisilla and Queen Mildred. Yeah. Mildred. You know what, Anthony? I'd like you to promise me right here on our episode. This is Prince Levi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Even more to prove it. Yeah. If you guys have a daughter, you have to promise us that you'll name her Mildred. (laughs) (laughs) So now they're like telling the girls to like spin and show themselves. It's like twerk it, girl, right? It's like, show me your badonkadonk. Bands to make them dance. (laughs) Bands to make them. (laughs) And they're like inspecting them. Right? They're like squat and like cough. in their in their long johns uh, i mean they're 100 percent clothed yeah like those uh, those pajamas are nowhere near sexy they're like those what the fuck 
So then they can put their dresses back on. Jeez. Like, it was how is that embarrassing to them? They're long sleeved fucking long pants. You know what I'm saying? Like So apparently like Prince Levi is bored of this. So he Yeah, because he like, was waiting to see some hot chicks in fucking underwear and he got hot chicks in fucking wetsuits. <laughs> Baggy wetsuits. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He's like, oh, I'm in enough of this. Oh, that was the sisters. Yeah. Oh, Cinderella fucking. I that's, guarantee she goes commando. That's the evil stepsisters. God, that's so, probably why they smelled so bad back in the day. Having a double layer up like that, they even through the fucking summer. I know, swampy. Fuck that shit. Get some swamp ass. God, mud butt. <laughs> <laughs> so Cinderella goes back into the castle and she's digging through a drawer oh she finds perfume she's like in somebody else's room apparently because she's quietly closing the drawer you just have your perfume hidden in your long johns so she drawer oh and the prince is here like hey oh my gosh yeah she's about to come out and shut the fuck up the the prince is like come with me come here do you see my hair and he's dragging her out of the castle why and down the where are they going i don't know but one of the sisters sees them well i gave you quite the scare uh i don't know if cinderella is the fate the what's it called the fairest one of them all though i mean is something the matter i i feel like personality goes a long way into being the fairest yeah if she has a funny sense of humor like but no they're all very attractive girls yeah well, I mean, she does. Well, I mean, never mind. having an ugly personality can kind of yeah that, that detracts a lot. Yeah, no. You could be super hot, but be a skanky ass attitude. Yeah, my bitch. So now he's like pr- the prince is like reading her palm. He's looking at her. He's like, "Oh, no calluses, huh? You're not working hard enough. That's yeah. probably why you get berated all the time." <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. So now the king comes out and uh, and finds him. Uh, out there with her and calls calls Levi back in. And he's like, okay, I'll see you later. Uh-oh. He's like, I do apologize. What if he had to go outside and rip a fat fart and then Cinderella was there? And he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and now he comes back and he's like, oh, yep. I said the TBBGs. He's like, yeah, everybody's invited to the ball. Look at how heavy his shirt must be, man. But now he's yeah. Oh, now he's all saying, those buttons on it. Yeah. Like goddamn, you think that's a bulletproof vest just made out of fucking buttons and string? It might as well like, be. That's Jesus. probably sick as hell. So now he's saying, I want to invite Cinderella to the the ball. Uh, and the the stepmother and the stepsister seem very reluctant. You he's know, just like throwing a bigger net, man. Are you sure? He's like, you- yeah, I just met her. Like yeah, like otherwise why would I ask? Grapes from the fuck? And then he's give it to the daughter like, all right, bitch. And then he walks away. He's like, if you were your sister, I'd smash it. But since you're not, so now Cinderella's talking to the maid about how she gets uh, to go to the ball, and Uh the stepmother is mad and (gasps) smacks her right across the face. Yeah. And it hurt really bad because she came back even after twisting her body. And she's like, oh. And then, like, yells at her and tells her to go away. So now the stepmom's now talking to Anya. the maid. Anya, Anya the maid. I'd like a word with you, please. All right. I know your son's been stealing bread from the pantry. All right. Fix your fucking mid shin sprain. I kind of feel like it's convenient that you knew, but like. Now you're going to say something when, you know, like, it pisses you off that Cinderella is getting attention. Well, uh-oh. Anya's coming in limping and grabbing her belly. Yeah. And they're in a dark room. Oh, yeah. They're... Oh, and the stepsisters are there, so it's a bit like an interrogation. I feel like somebody's going to get murdered. Wounds, on Anya. They take longer to heal when you're old. So is she going to get fired? I don't know. So because they're talking about... Are they going to fire or are they going to kill her? It's almost... 
<laughs> they want to let her go? Yeah. Uh-oh. You know anything about horses? <gasps> Are they going to fucking Braveheart her? Are they going to quarter her? I fucking hope it, dude. Please Braveheart this motherfucker. I, oh, I compare you to a horse. She's like, you saw me in the shower? You're like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So, she's talking about how she used to be helpful. I thought she said nippies. But now she's old. She's not even old. She looks like she's like fucking maybe 50. Yeah. Like, damn. But 50, that's probably like 80 their time. Seeing how they were like born and married and had their first kid by the time they were like 11. You know what horses are killed off? <gasps> and they were turned into glue? And now... Here the, we go. And now the sisters walk up behind her. Wearing those fucking ugly jammas. Yeah. Look like motherfucking jesters. <laughs> They're going to kill her because of her leg. She's like, dude, I literally, it's just like her foot's asleep. All right. Do you mind helping her out? So they're, are they going to throw her out of the castle? No, I think oh, they're no. going to kill her. Yeah, so they slam her onto the table. And she's in that position. <gasps> oh, and they put her on the table. And they, they're going to quarter horse her. They're going to quarter her? Is that what her? it's called? It, quartering, yeah. I don't know. So they... They're tying her down. They're going to brave oh, harder. Fuck. Oh, wait. Unless they ghost dog her and fucking have a pull cue. You ever seen that? <gasps> oh, they're going to whip her. God damn. Oh, jeez. You know why she fucking is hurt? Because you keep whipping her in the back when she fucking fell. Yeah. Mm. And, and her back looks pretty fresh because, I mean, like, she's probably been whipped before. I mean, that lady doesn't look like she's whipping very good. Open wide, Anya. And then she puts a dirty sock, hopefully a sock, not a pair Ugh. of undies. It's like somebody's been stealing from her family, too. Yeah, it was that son. You think that you and your family could eat an entire round of bread in one sitting? Fuck no. Perfect. So now the daughters are going to get in on this. Does she just rip open her, the bottom of her? Uh, yep. Oh, wow. Like her there throat? Went. No. No. Other hole. Oh, jeez. And, oh, wait. And then guard nope. her face. Never then. mind. I was wrong. I thought she was, uh, you know. Oh, jeez. So like now she's tearing up her eyes. What the fuck is she using? Like that fish hook thing? Like a fish hook, yeah. A meat hook. Not a oh, fish hook like thing. A, yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, I think one blow to the eyeball with that would have been killed. But she went four or five eyeballs. Really went over the top. <sighs> So then we get a, we see Cinderella writing outside in the dark. With a quill. And then one of the stepsisters comes out and says, mother wants you. And Ooh. so they let her see the dead maid. You need to see me? Oh, yeah. No, I don't need to see you, but I want, oh, she's oh, not dead. She is not dead. Wow. God. This is but some, her head is fucked in half. Uh Yeah. You did this in her and, No, literally. I no. was outside and you guys just did it. And, and you decided to do this, yeah. I want you to let her go. Uh, that is blood shooting out of her fucking neck. Yeah. Are you going to disobey her wishes? Oh. Like, this is a, is what fucking movie is that? Poet Society, where that kid shoots that harpoon gun, hits a dolphin. And it's I, like, thump. And then they pull the dolphin onto the boat, and they're just like, it's not dead. You need to do it now. And the kid's too afraid to fucking hit the dolphin with the club to kill it, to put it out of its misery. That's what's going on here. Well, yeah, they're basically asking Cinderella to finish the job and do the mercy kill. You don't have to do it, though. So then she puts it. Is that, that's probably the shittiest fire poker. It's like two feet long. Yeah, it's it's a tiny... <laughs> Fire oh, poker. so and now, now the maid's maid is... saying, please kill me. Oh, jeez, this is terrible. Never. I would <sighs> never say that. So gross. And then here it goes. I'll take care of Mortis. Moritz. That's the her son, I'm assuming. Mildred and Moritz, huh? Yeah. Are you sure it wasn't more tits? Now Damn. she stabs, uh, stabs the maid in the head with the fire poker, and you see the blood explode out of her head. Yeah, well... There wasn't anything there anyways. 
It was all stabbed up from the previous whooping. Damn. Get this body out of my home. So now she's going to make Cinderella clean up the body that they mutilated. That makes sense. (sighs) Damn. See, now the prince. Now we're back at the prince's house. Yeah. And now he's letting loose because his shirt's unbuttoned all cool now. Looking like a motherfucking Michael Jackson jacket like he was the fucking king of the circus. I know. Who the fuck is that? His sister? So this is... Like, yeah, um, it's very convincing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is Ingrid. God damn it, I hate all these names. So... So they're... So, so she is in love with the prince and she was jealous because she saw him with the with cinderella but he said he said we're just gonna bring cinderella to the ball and i guess they're gonna play a prank on her oh and you see this is why i don't like living back in those days she's wearing that dress and has like that gigantic ass thing built on her ass yeah. so it looks like she's got that thong the thong you know, she don't got that dump in that trunk. Yeah, she can't yeah. tell if she's thick or not. You know, piss like he ever, unfortunately, you know, gotten a female or somebody undressed and then you're like, oh, and you hear that sad music. <laughs> There's one chick, I got her shirt off and I was like, yes. And then I got off and I was like, oh, all right. That's exactly what's going to happen here. He's so, going to be like, damn, I like big butts. And he's going to sing that song. So is she dragging the body out? And she's just. And now she's like uh, just raging in her mind. Yeah, basically just like going back through all the fucked up stuff that's happened. You know what? I remember fucking seeing this preview and fucking didn't we talk to somebody about this? uh yeah i want i want to say um i forget who but yeah we talked to somebody about it and i remember this now yeah and i am even more excited to watch this fucking movie Mm -hmm. because i remember the fucking trailer so so she moves some leaves and she found she found the book from the beginning the book with the eye god and the eyes are even closed like you know, dirt's in there. Pink yeah, eye. I know. Maybe that's why the what book's the so fuck? mad all the time. So they keep showing these like flashbacks or like flash scenes of shit happening, where like the the horse and carriage exploded, like somebody threw a fucking bomb in it. Yeah. Do they have C four back in the day? No. Uh, I don't think so. Maybe maybe a version of it. They're like fuck this shit. God, I hate those clothes, man. So now we're back at the castle, and the yeah. stepsisters are arguing with each other. They're they're talking shit about Cinderella, basically. Oh, and they're saying that we need to destroy her in front of everybody. They're going to do a carry on her ass. Yeah. She has a diary. Oh, they're going to take her diary. Like, <laughs> are they going to read her diary? Oh, no. They're going to photocopy the diary? Oh, wait. You can't, bitch, because light bulbs aren't invented yet. So then Cinderella comes in with food. Cinderella's clothes look a lot nicer than her fucking stepsisters. I know. She's got that little mouse under her eye, though, man. She did get pimp slapped earlier today. See, what yeah. is that? Fucking 13, 75 candles to light up that kitchen like that? I know. It's a lot of candles. But so she she was about to go get her own uh, plate of food. Damn, but both eyes, both cheeks are... What? I know. Like... But she's about she's about to go get her own plate of food, and the stepmother tells her to stay. A toast to better days. But they get to toast, and she doesn't. And she's like, "You did everything I said." You know what that's called? Accomplice to murder, Cinderella. All right, <laughs> that's how you get ants. <laughs> <laughs> so really, they all say grace. Yeah, and they're like, "Okay." <gasps> Oh, look, she has a, the fuck is that, a chicken? Yeah. A Cornish game hen? It's it's like a, either a small chicken or a Cornish game hen. But it was already cut. No, that's a potato. She got a potato. Okay. So yeah. here's something weird. Baked potato, you put fucking 
French fries on it, right? No. French fries? Jesus. I'm fucking... You Who put does that? Fucking, no, God damn it. <laughs> well, that's a question. <laughs> Baked potatoes. You put butter on it, right? Like butter or sour cream, different stuff, yeah. So, do you put butter on french fries? No. Because no, that's weird. Yeah. But it's the same thing. But it's a different type of potato. So then she has a flashback again while she's sitting at the table. Or like a flash forward. I was what I'm thinking this is. Um, of, you know, like her like losing her mind and flipping out and doing bad stuff to people. Well, hopefully it's just like this is going to happen to you. Oh, God. And now she's like seeing, oh, the, the maid in the middle of the table all mutilated looking like a fucking pig and then she runs off you should have kept those guinea pigs for till november man (laughs) no you could have put on the what are those things called the fucking cornucopia (laughs) i am no (laughs) for thanksgiving that's that is morbid that'd be fucking you could have what is it, a turducken? You could have put the fucking guinea pig inside the Ew. turkey. And then, <laughs> that would have been amazing. I'm going to tell your wife. No. Go get him back. <laughs> no. All right. So Cinderella. So, yeah. Dinner's over. So dinner's over and um, and the stepsisters, uh, Natasha Tassini's character is showing up. Uh, uh, Cinderella, her glass slippers. She's like, even I don't have dainty feet like you. Well, you're a little bit taller than her. Yeah. Right? Is she? I don't know about glass shoes, man. I think that your feet would get hella hot and then those uh, yeah. shoes would get all foggy. I I think they would because you're, I mean, your skin breathes. And then it'd be all slippery inside of it. Uh, you know? Yeah. Maybe probably get a blister. And then like yeah, at the end of the night when you take your shoes off, I bet those motherfuckers are just roasting. Mm-hmm. God damn. So now, like, you know, the, the, the Natasha Tosini's character really is like sitting there really being nice to her and relating with her. And then Cinderella's like, oh, it's okay. Come here. You know? Yeah. Oh, he could never love me or Ingrid. And so who the fuck's Ingrid, bitch? Oh, and now, she, and now she basically tells Cinderella, like the prince has eyes for you. He doesn't want us. Anthony's gonna get attacked by a cat. <laughs> <laughs> and they're still having their little sister talk. See, like ah, I cannot stand that right now. I can't stand people who are so evil that they can be like, no, man, yeah, let's just be friends. No, he no, trusts me. No, if somebody who person. has been terrible to me the entire God, the entire way see? is suddenly nice fuck that man wouldn't you be super suspicious that something's a bad is about to happen i hold motherfucking grudges like a champ if there was like an olympic sport of holding <laughs> grudges i would fucking rock that motherfucker so then, then we, she has the book and hides it she hides the book and then she has a flashback of like Somebody with like a like a skinless face and bulging eyes, and stabs someone in the stomach. Oh, and then that person's in the house. Is it the first girl from the beginning of the movie? Uh, I think, I think maybe. Yep. Yeah, she said thanks so much for summoning me. Oh yeah, so she was the. She's now one of the the ghosts or whatever of the what book. The fuck's I guess. Not Cinderella's forehead. How come it looked like they she did that whole Japanese trend where you put air in your forehead or? Silic or fucking saline, and then you do a donut shape in your forehead. Yeah, is she giving her Indian burn? So no, the <laughs> so now the, the 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 girl from the beginning is telling her like they all laugh at you, they're mocking you, and she says, "I can take it all away." I'd say, "Okay," like go ahead, <laughs> and I can grant you your freedom. I'd say, "All right." By all means, go ahead. So I want to say, what you need to do? press this button. I'm going to press. What? I didn't even tell you what the outcome would be. Press. What? 
<laughs> it's like I don't I don't care what happens to them. I don't have to let your press. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> what? You don't even want to hear how bad my tort nope, just do it. Boom. <laughs> do it, please. Yeah. Tell me afterwards. So then Cinderella so Cinderella's starts, afraid? Yeah, like cuz she's seeing all of these Ooh, somebody's in her fucking window pop locking and dancing. <laughs> yeah, like doing like like shoulder shakes. This is thriller. <laughs> right? Like what the fuck if I was like, hey, I'm gonna wake Anthony up and then I just start fucking doing the robot in your fucking doorway. We're just like, Brank, we're fucking around, man. Like I'm waking up right now. Don't be doing the robot. Like, <laughs> yeah. what the shit, dude? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh, better fucking Give a dance shoes on. Yeah, really. So now the other stepsister comes over to her and tells her, Cinderella, you have to get ready for the ball. Like, everybody's being so nice to her. And the the book eye is now moving. Ooh, it's blinking. Yeah. Ugh, that's disgusting. I don't know why. That's just fucking gross, dude. So this is literally supposed to be like the, the evil dead, um, like the book of the dead or whatever it is. Well... All right, so she keeps opening up pages, and it's showing her flashes of how those people died, I'm guessing. Yeah. And she's like, no, fuck this book. And she's going to put it down. Now she's leaving. Yeah, so now she's going to go get dressed she's like, yeah, for the ball. God damn it. Those dresses are so fucking ugly back in the day. So now she Cinderella's helping... Uh, Brown haired sister. Brown haired sister, uh, get ready by she's pulling the corset. She's like, and now for you. Let's see what she does. So now she's gonna go into like her dress or her um uh, her her dresser. Look like motherfucking Fiona from Shrek dress. Yeah, that gives her like a green dress. With a white sh- arms and then a come on, man. And then she just hugs her like, Oh, thank you. Like, thank you for giving me a nice dress. Yeah, uh, I mean it's not a nice dress, but. but then the other girl doesn't hug her back. She can't. She has that nice dress and hanger. You in could her still hand. like put another. You could put the other arm around. God, when was deodorant invented? <laughs> That's all I'm. Mean, you know, that's what I'm a saying? great like, question. I'm just thinking back in the day. When was know? daily showering a thing? Like, god damn! And, you know, they were saying it's like, oh, it had no benefit of showering. It was only for fucking whatever. God, she does look like motherfucking Shrek princess. So she comes down in her green dress. and What do you think you're doing dressed like that? Dress and then, normal? And then, yeah, dress normal, yeah. And the step, the stepmother is just She's roasting like, her. Where are the ball? Well, guess what? You're not going to the ball, bitch. Uh, she's like, but the prince invited me. And so now the sisters are like, ha, huh, we tricked you. They don't want a peasant girl like you. Yeah. God, that stepmom. Needs but to now, get beat up. But now she says, you're going to be busy now that we don't have Anya the maid. Damn. Because, you know, we we slashed her face and then... Like, you remember yesterday when we, we murdered her? We murdered her. We made you, you know, you know do the final blow. <laughs> Ew. So she's like, where's Moritz? And she's like... Maybe he went to town to find his mom. Uh, guess what? His mom's dead. Yeah. We're thinking. Sad. Well, look how many candles they have. So now she gets mad. She grabs the stepmom and is She's yelling like, at Where her. Where's my father? You can't handle the truth. <clears throat> and then, then the stepmother... Gives her like an epic slap across the face. A fucking Charlie Murphy slap. Damn. Like, <laughs> like and it was with her left hand. And then, then another no. kick to the ribs. Yeah. No, was that a kick to the ribs or a kick to the face? Illegal hit. Illegal hit. <laughs> like, I'm just waiting for James Earl Jones to fucking <laughs> come out here and be like, Tommy, <laughs> no. <laughs> now so she, everybody's leaving. They're going to leave and they're going to leave her there. How they build these motherfucking houses? I know. Back in the day, they didn't have motherfucking squares. They have triangles. Such they have these big spaces with these tiny doorways. Oh, Moritz, he's chained up. Oh, he's chained up. Look yeah. at that bitch ass chain though. He can literally just—it's one of those hook chains, where like you just 
pull the little lever back and it undoes it. I know. It's not even a lock. Quit being a bitch, Morch, and fucking just unlock it. So he's like... You know what I'm talking about? Like those little fucking things where you just pull the slide back and then the chain comes out. Yeah. Quit being a pussy. So he's chained in the room... Uh, or in a room, uh, like by the fireplace. I mean, unfortunately, if he doesn't realize he can just easily break out, then he kind of deserves it. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jeez. have you ever heard? Like, there's that Thailand thing about the elephants, and the elephants just have like a tiny little bell tied around their leg, mm-hmm. and they're just like, okay, and so like, how come you have that? And then as an adult, they still have that little bell wrapped around their leg. And they're like, ever since they were little, we put that rope around them, and they think that they can't leave. So even though the elephant is like fucking a huge muscular thing, they think that they can't fucking leave because so, it's tied on them. And so it's just something they become used to. Yeah. So this kid, he's like, oh, I guess they put a chain on me. So You've now, never heard of a sliding mechanism? Like, what the fuck? I know. Uh-oh. So now Cinderella sits down. She opens the, the skin book and... It's uh, like writing, at, or it's like writing everything out as she opens. This is a pretty fucked up book, I guess. And it's basically telling her, if you're brave enough, you can go see the love of your life. But if you're brave enough, everything is a... <laughs> <laughs> not going to finish that one. You know, you know. So this is kind of like Scary Stories Tell in the Dark. Yeah, kind of. Still fucking awesome. Yeah. This here's is, something. What if she couldn't read? I, <laughs> I mean, that would make this a very different story. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's just a picture book. So then she... What is it? Her... Uh, she explodes. Like... And now she's tied up into the chair and the like, fucking... Yeah, like the, the cal- barn. Or the, the candles blew out in her room and now she's tied to a chair. Now, this and is going to these... be inappropriate, but I like how big her titties are in her sister's dress. Because look, the strings don't tie where her boobs are. Yeah. <laughs> where, where the dress fit her sister. You'd be like, all right, well, we know which one's more endowed. Good job, Cinderella. So apparently the... The 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 creepy woman with uh, no face, no lips, just and no teeth. lips is that's the fairy godmother, and she is there to grant her three wishes. <sighs> that's gross. But that's a creepy ass fairy godmother. I saw a pretty funny thing. Ew! So then, are those the fucking mice people that are going to be helping her? I guess so. God yeah. Damn. Obviously, she can't ask any of them to do her hair. Because they oh. don't have any hair themselves. So she wishes to see Prince Le- or Prince Levin one more time. It's like, then it shall be done. I have no motherfucking idea what's in fucking store for this. So now she's being like pulled away by the Slowly fairy godmother. escorted up. Yeah. Uh... And now the magic oh, is uh, like making her dress nicer. Shit's getting real. What did that song go? How did that song go in the first one? Oh, so now we're doing the whole spinning and twirling and, you know. Yeah. And, and she's like, do you like it? Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's like, not anymore, bitch. And she rips her sleeves off. That'd be fucking funny. So that was her first two wishes. Was to see Prince Levin and to get dressed and ready for it. And now she goes downstairs and uh, runs into, oh, the fairy godmother. Speaking of foreign language, God, her eye is fucked. I would, that would be my first wish. Can a, you look normal, please? Yeah. So you don't jump scare me every time I see you? You're scaring the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a fucking good... Uh, hack if you ever do find a genie in a bottle is you write down like eight or ten wishes on the paper and then say I wish all of this stuff to come true on my paper boom think about that oh yeah and that's one wish boom <laughs> if I had one wish <laughs> so then she gets in the in the white carriage and she's off to go see Prince Levin 
know what the fuck. All right, hold on, dude. Let's pause it real quick. So we All can right. Can... Well, we'll be back with uh, more of Cinderella's Curse. Bingo. All, All right. right. So, and now we're the, back. Now, the, the carriage is... Oh, we're back, yeah. At 4112. Ooh. And the carriage is coming through the gate. They've got those blinders on. Oh, so apparently they didn't have conditioner back in the day. <laughs> Or did they? So we're at the the, the fancy ball, mm-hmm. and uh, the king and the queen are on a stage watching everybody dance, 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 dance. This is where we need, like, you know, uh, what, what was that? It was uh, the, like a Knight's Tale where they were playing David Bowie, All right? That would be awesome. <laughs> so now the prince is dancing with brown haired stepsister, yeah, and saying, "I only have eyes for you." So he's a player. Hell yeah. Dude, if your parents threw you a party to fucking so many chicks wanted to bang you, what would you do? Oh, yeah. No, totally. Like, Every chick right there. Like, oh, wait. It's not the stepsister. It's fucking whoever that girl this is, is. This is one of the step. No, this is that girl that, yeah. that he. He's like, I'm going to choose you. Like, that he's already choosing her and not any of these girls. Say, well, guess what? I'm going to choose someone else. I'd say it just depends on. Their favorite position, I guess. Yeah. More. So, <laughs> Cinderella shows up and the stepsister imme- or the stepmother immediately checks her. Damn. And is like politely being like, if you leave so, now, I'll whoop your ass less. And I am glad that they did that. That they're not doing like a Clark Kent thing where like Anthony, if you all of a sudden just put on like you know, a suit and tie, I'd be like, who is that guy? Like, yeah. Anthony, I see you. You just put on different clothes. They didn't do the Cinderella thing where nobody knows who she is yeah. and she has a secret identity. Yeah. I, no, I know, that's that. you. Yeah. Like, we're friends, man. You're my sister. You're my stepdaughter. I know you. So even the the girl that that he's with is in on this and is saying, oh, the, the prince has been asking for you all night. So they're God. they're playing like a, a cruel prank on her. I cannot wait until Cinderella fucking hits puberty, gets her Wolverine claws, and just murders everybody in this fucking ball. Shink, shink, shashing. <laughs> goes Wolvie goes. Berserk style. Dude, that was the best part of those X-Men movies was when Wolverine had his yeah. fucking fight scenes. And then here we go. Here comes this ball. Like I mean, I did man. think it was interesting when they gave him bone claws instead of yeah. adamantium. Like kind of mix. Well, I mean, up but you got to think about it. How did he get the adamantium? Maybe it's just all of a sudden be like, hey, by any chance, can you grow claws? Well, I don't know because I don't have them. <laughs> you know what? Let's just give it a shot. Yeah. <laughs> How many people did they go through? Well, it's like you can't grow claws. Well, sorry. No, sorry, that doesn't work. Yeah. We need somebody else then. We've been trying to put adamantium in everybody's bones. It's just not working for some reason. Uh oh, so now so, the prince and uh, oh, he, he's he oh. pulls her forward. He says, "Do you think I'd ever choose a whore like you?" So he's like, "Why is she a whore?" He's doing that like little rich boy, oh. like I'm a piece of shit thing. And he pushes her on the ground, and he's, he's saying, like, "Everybody, come gather round. The entertainment has arrived." And now, even like even wow. the king and the queen are laughing, like they were in on this. You, the fool in all the glory, dude. It's like this, dude. I cannot wait until she murders every single one. And not even just murders. I hope she tortures every single one. If you are a bully, if you are a fucking prick like this, you deserve mm-hmm. to die. I'm sorry. I, I wish he's like, we're going to get canceled for saying shit like no, this. No, I, I hope you, we see some brutal ass deaths. You know what? Fuck you. Like, if you're going to be a prick like this and fucking. Oh, wow. And he's making out with his actual girlfriend right mm, in front mm, of cinderella mm, peasant scum and Jeez. then he spits right in her eye wow and then like but the fact that all these people are allowing this shit to happen they're co here it goes why yeah. are you doing this like don't be a bully don't At, be a fucking it, prick now they read her diary in front of her like you can be any more embarrassed like you were just tripped you know, like, how sad. Like, I fucking, like, this part of the movie, I don't has to happen, but I don't like seeing this shit. Well. You know what I'm saying? See, the yeah, I, I agree. There's, like, stuff like this. It's, like, if you ever watched, like, the original Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. 
I haven't seen that movie. And there's that horrific rape scene. Mm -hmm. And they, it's like a four minute scene. And they really like dive deep into it. But like you have to, you know what I'm saying? You have to have something like that where you see how evil and horrific it was. So when you see her do evil and horrific things to other people later, you 100% that you are now with her. So I guess this is the part where, like, you know, they're just so, so they keep reading the journal or the diary, whatever, you know, and he's saying that she just, she fell in love with the prince and everything like that and had hope, but everybody's just sitting there laughing at her and everything like that. Like I all know. of them, Which, all of them deserve to fucking die. She does like, she does it, the, the actress in this role, Kelly Rianne Sanson. She does a really good job coming off very very likable very sincere very oh, genuine so the prince kisses her oh wow and, and then, then spits, spits on right her. and i'm pretty sure that you have to pay extra for that I <laughs> if it was the girl spitting in your mouth i hope it was everything you've ever wanted like what a piece of shit human like for then, somebody to be able to do this to somebody for no reason at all yeah Like, that's the most disgusting part about this right now. Wow. It seems my stepsister has forgotten her place. (laughs) Shall I remind her? Allow her to be the punching bag for the evening. (laughs) That would be hilarious. Everybody just starts punching her? What the fuck? No, slamming (gasps) her head into the floor. Actually, that's... uh, The stepsister? The stepsister, the blonde one. No, Natasha Tosini's character. And she's like, all right, everybody. And, and she's like, okay, everybody join in. Like, So then everybody literally is coming in with their ball gowns on. Even that big bitch. Like, what the fuck? And they're punching at her and kicking her, huh? What? Wow. So everybody's just ganging up. Like, <sighs> Can't wait till... Uh, do you feel tough? Like, this shit starts kicking in. It's like 40 on one against uh, a non-threatening girl. Oh. Or a non-threatening woman. And here comes a nakedness. Oh, wow. And they take her dress off, and she's naked. And her, uh, she's 100% naked. Yeah, she's completely naked. And everybody's just laughing at her, huh? I don't know why they're laughing at her. I'd be like, damn, girl, what's up? Even, like, the stepmom is laughing. I'd be like, what are you laughing at, you old-ass hack? I, she spit, did she pour a drink on her? Yeah, she poured something on her. So we're just being mean to Cinderella, huh? Well, wow. Here's what you're about to deserve in a little bit. I'd say, haven't you bitches seen Carrie in 300 years? So then she says, I'm ready for my final wish. Here it goes. And we see these cutaways and Cinderella is back, back in that barn. In the, like, and the... Th- this fairy godmother, that horrific ass face that keeps showing it. I mean, like, <laughs> it's the fairy godmother from fucking, what's the new show that came out? Was it Pinocchio? Tinkerbell? Oh, yeah. No, the fairy godmother, they came out with the new fairy godmother. It was, uh. Oh, in the, in the, yeah. I don't know. In, like, there was a, a Cinderella, I don't know, it was like a TV movie? Maybe. And it was the the one I the one I think we're thinking of the same one. Yeah, it's uh. Yeah. Anyways, it was it was oh, a guy. She says she wishes for revenge, or it was a transgender person. Yeah. Oh, was it? Or it was. It, I don't. Know. I, I'm not sure. So but, now she says she wants her revenge, and then she's going through some pain, and you know, they keep doing this like cutaway, and then here she, she goes. Oh, has black eyes, and she's so wearing she one that of weird them. dress. Oh, so now she's back to being clothed, huh? So now she's back to being clothed, which she's like right there. I'd be freaked out if I was at that part. I'd be like, you see everybody backed up. They're like, like what? Where'd the- this motherfucking dress come from? <laughs> like, what witchcraft is this? Oh, hold on. Let's see if you can hear this. So then she, she's That's like, Indy snoring. She, oh, she's now she has psychic <clears throat> powers and she can like close doors. Oh yeah, you guys are all locked in here with her now. And then she does this scream and like. Breaks all the lights. No, when everybody starts grabbing their ears, that's not good enough. See, like, I don't know if this is me being sick, but I would fucking torture these people after they just did this shit to me. So then... I want to give them a fucking easy death. The other, like... <laughs> was there a kid in there that was grabbing his ears? Yeah. So then there's, like, 
than all the other people or all the other like creepy uh things that were with the the fairy godmother goes are the mice. like and starting the to mow people down yep bye oh hell yeah she's gonna take her glass slipper yeah you need to break it first and then you need to cut your prince's throat so then she oh and then she stabs uh somebody in the stomach yeah like one of the other people in the mob in the stomach Yep, you guys are all fucked now. Yep, so then everybody just keeps getting fucking slashed on their face? Yeah, like slashes on their face, getting their throats slit. I still... Uh, no, I haven't seen throats yet. Oh, oh wow. So then she's Cinderella putting, like, just puts the, the heel in somebody's neck. She's putting in work. All those other people are just cutting faces. She's stabbing people in the heart with her shoe? Yeah. Damn. Damn, man. Those other people, the mice... Are just scarring people, mm-hmm. and then somebody's got the 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 meat hook again. I look like a scythe. She's just stabbing people with a shoe. I know, but there's after they're all getting stabbed and cut right in the heart with that shoe, man. You know how much force you would have to use to exactly how much pain that'd be because it's like a dull object. <laughs> My God! It's like so, ugh. some people have made it out into the hallway, Ooh. and they are all trying to run away. It's a good—I want to say about fifteen people. Yeah. And here comes everybody, or here comes uh, all of the the god the godmother's henchmen, and then Cinderella <laughs> like breaks the lights with her psychic powers, and he's like, "She's possessed." Open oh, then she got an axe to float to her. And now please start chopping people. So now the this is the the king. Yep. No, son. Mm. Save yourself. He's like, I was already planning on it. It's like, yeah. It's like now I get to be king. Right. And He's like, hell yeah. Oh. Cinderella gives him, gives the king an axe to the neck. Right to the neck. Yep. Guess what? If they approved of you doing this horrible thing to somebody. Then guess what? They're gone too. Yeah, because they were all laughing and stuff. So mm-hmm. then the the henchmen take down the queen. And oh, are, they're like, biting her boobies off. They're like biting her neck, oh. biting her chest. Did they bite her arm off? I, th- I think so. Now people are trying to leave the house. Yeah. Oh, they are biting her. So that guy saw his mom and dad get brutally murdered, which is funny. And he's all freaked out. <laughs> well, maybe you shouldn't be an asshole. Well, yeah. Like, don't, you know plan to you know embarrass somebody oh, and then all of a sudden the carriage blows up like the carriage just goes up like a, looking like die hard like a tiki torch mm-hmm. I like how they run they close the doors like this will stop her uh you saw her do everything right yeah i don't think a door is going to stop her no that is not going to stop her it's like at this point you need to like try to fight her or do something it's kind of like you know Watching like the first two thirds of the Terminator and being like, oh, like, th- you know, and watching characters be like, this will stop the Terminator. Mm. No, 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 it won't. No, nope. no, no. It's like that. Like, if you saw somebody beat up like 10 of your friends and they want to fight you next, I'd be like, damn, you just beat up 10 of my friends. Yeah. <laughs> like, so now everybody that's holed up, this includes the the stepsister, uh, Natasha Tassini, the mother, um, the other stepsister and uh, Prince Levi, Prince Levin. Um, and he's like, I'm going to cute. Like, I'm going to make a run for so it. So he bolts, and so does one of the stepsisters. <laughs> but then guess what? Even if you run, I'll probably find you tomorrow. Yeah. You know why? Because you're the prince. Mm-hmm. Okay. Y- you have to go do prince stuff at some point. Yep. Like, I'm going to find you. Like, you know what they do in Japan if you're on death row? They don't ever tell you when you're going to die. And that just adds the suspense to your fucking <laughs> sentence. That just sounds terrible. That's fucking amazing. I mean. Like, if I was a guard, I'd be like, see you later. <laughs> and they'd be like, what do you mean? I'd be like. I mean, I, I don't know. I, Enjoy I, I, this meal. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say bye to your friends today? Like, what the fuck? I'd get fired within one day. Like, Brian, you can't fucking torture them yeah, anymore. You cannot like, intimidate. Like, I was just saying hello to him. I just said it in a slightly sinister right. voice. <laughs> and There's like, you can't keep hinting shit, you know? 
Did stop, you write your mom one last letter? Stop giving people the people's eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> like that's just how I look. So then uh the blonde the stepsister, stepsister. The blonde stepsister Natasha Tassini, she uh she's cornered by <sighs> Cinderella. She's like, that's a lovely dress. Can you lift it up for me? Uh did she show her her whispering eye? <laughs> Oh no! Oh, she, she was just taking her sneaks, taking her shoes. Yeah, damn, those ain't Jordans. No, tiptoeing in my jaw. Unless it was great with your dress. So she wants to put the glass slippers <gasps> on the oh. stepsister. She said, "Put them on." Oh, they won't fit. Oh, they won't fit. So she's gonna break her feet. Guess what, bitch? Now they will. So now she insists. Well, if she just hammers them into the ground, she said, "Put them on." Oh, here we go. My feet are too big. Well, oh, guess what, bitch? So then she is she gonna please get her so in like a fucking feet. Yeah. a toe hold? Don't she bite snap her toes a toe off. off. I hope she breaks her toes. Don't bite them off. You'll lose a little bit of respect from me. Like they are too big. So just break them. Okay, so now here we she go. tells the 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 godmother's henchman to hold her, uh the stepsister down get her in a fucking oh oh and she grabs yeah. some big she's like, got like those fabric shears the, the fabric shears and she's buy toes, toes this little piggy went to the market Wink. jeez this little piggy said no Wink. roast beef bram she said like, none she's doing all the toes one by one damn damn and they weren't even like at the digits. No. You know what I'm saying? It was like mid toe. They were super uneven. Yeah. Like not even on the joints. No. Those are some sharp ass shears, man. So you then, ever fucking spatch cocked a turkey or a chicken? Uh, no. It's fucking pretty hard, man. I've got some sharp ass shears. Still hard to cut through those rib cages, but this girl did it with fucking. That's, she's got the janitor hands. Mm hmm. Or she could just <laughs> cut through fucking bone with scissors. She's like, try the shoes on. So then she jams the first shoe on. And, and then she took it off. So now like, these are my favorite shoes. And now the all the all the uh the henchmen leave and it's just Cinderella and the stepsister. She and grabs the shoe and hi-ya! and stabs. Right. I don't know if that was her eye. Is that? I think that's her eye. Yeah, yep, that's her eye. Right in her eyeball. Now she's laughing. Hell yeah! Nope, it was right, right in her, her cheek. Her cheek. Damn. Damn. Looks like she got punched by. This movie is brutal. Good. No, and I and I'm saying well, that in a 100% great way. One hundred percent. Fucking agree with it. Yeah. No, because normally when you get movies that are you know like, and I, I'm, I'm not saying this is like a diss, but like you get movies that are like heavily female centered. They kind of like try to lighten up the gore a little bit and, you know, all of that um, because they Maybe. feel like it might be too much yeah, or, or, like, like or if, do a lot of cutaways. Or there's a lot of and fucking, post gore. Yeah. Oh, so now she's like, oh, you have a pretty face. But in and this then one, slits oh, her throat with her with shoe. With the shoe. Damn. This is a very versatile shoe. And then she shoe. gets blasted in her face. But this movie doesn't try those tricks. It just gives you the same movie. With a female perspective. I like, I like this how it's, well, I guess we can talk about it when the movie ends, but, you know, like there's movies where it's just gory just to be gory, you know? This movie, she has every right to fucking torture these people. Well, yeah, she's, she's matching their level of viciousness. So was the king or the prince, well, I guess he is the king now. <laughs> Um, is that his girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah. That's not the brown haired sister. Uh, I don't he's believe like, so. I'm going to take a run for it. Gives her one last kiss. Or is that the stepsister? I can't tell. I don't think it is. No, that's. What the fuck yeah. you going to do? So he grabs a pot, takes the flowers out, and he's rolling the pot towards down the, the girl. Towards the girl and then runs away. Wow. So, so he, he just made a noise to sacrifice her. What a pussy. Fucking fuck, dude. <sighs> well, oh well. Yeah, so then she hears the noise and she's walking with that 
uh, with that slipper. <laughs> I hope that mic picked that up. Indy fucking dreaming and growling. <laughs> All right. So then the prince, come on, you would hear that. Like he runs upstairs. Yeah. Runs up the stairs. He's being louder than, than yeah. the, than the pot. Yeah. Or the, the, the vase. Cinderella walking so slow. I know. I just heard we get done. I know. She's really <clears throat> dragging it out, trying to like raise the fear. She's like, all right, here I come. But then she hears uh she hears the uh the same the, girl somehow the circle behind move. her. Yeah, like move behind her. And she's like, here I come. And I come now here she comes. Here. It's like, even if you're quiet, she's still going to turn the corner and find you. Because you have those big-ass puffy shoulders, bitch. Yeah. You, you <laughs> forgot to hide the extra six inches of puffy shoulders behind maybe, the corner. Maybe everybody should just get naked. Boom. Like, <laughs> and then and you now they're the doing the whole, like, big-ass clothing on. <laughs> cat and mouse thing where they're moving around a pillar. It's like, okay, here she is. I'm going to throw him over this side now. <laughs> Yeah, and she's so. gonna do a nine degree turn. Then she's gonna do a nine degree turn. It's gonna keep circling. But she's staring right at her. Like, is she just messing with her? Maybe, because then she's gonna juke left, and then she's gonna juke left, and then she's gonna juke right, but then really juke left again. I think she's gonna come from the other side now that the camera is ignoring and mm. pretend and is pretending doesn't exist. Shove that glass slipper up her ass. Like, eat this. Uh, she's going to get caught from behind. She does it and then front kicks it right up her booty. <laughs> she's like, here's that donk a donk. And then she says, Damn. got something in your eye. What and kind of motherfucking shoe is that, dude? And stabs her in the eye with the shoe. Dude, those shoes are like fucking a hundred times worse than like a fucking Muay Thai elbow. I'm telling you, th this is a very versatile shoe. God damn. You can't dunk in them, I bet. <laughs> Mm -hmm. maybe you could if mm -hmm. you uh use the right book so now she's stabbing her in the back with the shoe damn i hope she gives her a fucking a blood eagle <laughs> oh my god that'd be fucked up so and then Ooh. wow she's really holding the really shoe in the there. wound yeah see i want to don't give up now do some more stabbing make sure she's really dead not just mildly inconvenienced. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. I'd put that shoe on and do a fucking Bruce Lee monkey stomp on her. Uh, I still don't think she's dead. You know, she's doing no, like the no, Terminator look. She looks very Come dead. On, man. She was just stabbed in the back and lungs and ribs. Yeah, I mean, just the vital stuff. Potentially. Oh, so now we're upstairs and the prince is like, oh, God, oh, I'm in a bathroom. What if he's fucking just jacking it one last time? I don't know I'm going to die. I mean, there are worse ways to go out. What's that thing called when you're when you're jacking it and then you yell somebody's name and you have to hurry up and finish before they come into the room? The bucking bronco. <laughs> no, that's no. when you <laughs> call somebody by a different name. <laughs> yeah. <they're> bucking... <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that that's different. All right, so now. The prince is in the room praying to flowers. Yes, he's praying to Dave, flowers. If I give her these flowers, she'll forgive me. Guess what? No, she won't, bitch. No, no. But guess what? You're going to eat those flowers. You are screwed. Reverse. Think about that. You're going to Cartman eat those flowers up that ass. <laughs> Speaking of asses and flowers, my wife went out today. We have that big ass rose bush. Yeah. And she... Um, for some reason, our our lights were twisted, so she bent down accidentally and fucking poked her butt into the rose bushes, and I was like, oh, babe, are you all right? I wanted to be like, maybe we shouldn't have rose bushes in our front yard because they're thorny, you know? <laughs> but <laughs> Maybe this is the wrong time to point it out. Right. I was like, How do I tell somebody that I love, I told you so? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> like... <laughs> <you know? laughs> Like okay, well, so the prince who was trying to hide did a really bad job. Well, he was like kind of had his back against the door, and like the <laughs> fucking Cinderella kicked the door open. And he like literally flew like yeah. fucking like he just got thrown out of fucking Maybe. Fresh Prince's 
Yeah, like he's like he's like ja- he's like jazz. Yeah, like <laughs> that's why kick the door. He's like, oh yeah. I, you know, maybe don't hide against a movable object. Uncle Phil threw him into the. She forced me. Oh, really? They're in a big ass house. You can't find weapons anywhere, dude. And then here he is. What a bitch! Like she forced me to. No, she didn't. No, nobody forced you to. You're the prince. You could say no, and people would be like, okay, exactly. Be like Denzel. Oh, and then she's like, get on the bed. So did so he, he gets, willingly get on the no, bed? No, he got like psychically thrown on the bed. God, this would be the weirdest lay right now. So then she gets on top of him. Oh, damn. I pick you, Cinderella. No, you don't. Please be my queen. So then she's like caressing his face and she's covered in blood. Oh, dude. See, I... She's like, I thought you had a good heart. Is she going to rip his heart out? I hope she fucking... That might be interesting. Gives him the five-point so palm exploding heart uh, technique. Rips open... Oh, he, come on. She rips open his shirt, and he does, like, the flip from the bottom, and, like... Like, he's a jujitsu <laughs> master all of a sudden. Yeah, like, it gets out. Roll over shrimp crawl. Damn. She picks him up by the throat, huh? I mean... To be fair, he's the first one to really fight back. To be fair. And now he's grabbing a glass cup. I have those and same like, cups. Like smashes it against the side of her head. She grabs she grabs a candle and shoves it in his mouth. Backwards though, so the flame is out of his mouth. Yeah. So he's a candle holder now. All right. All right. And he's bleeding. And she keeps shoving it. And now he's coughing oh. up blood. He's like, oh shit. Ooh, so then those creatures crawl out from under the bed. Yeah, and they're all on top of the prince and like eating his <sighs> face and chest. That's not good enough. That's not good enough. If I was Cinderella, I'd hurry up and run over there and beef stew him. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fucked up. Getting murdered, and then all of a sudden, someone's like, right? <laughs> just rips it like, right in it. Come on, man. God damn it. And that was really how he died. Yeah. <sighs> just like fucking Game of Thrones when whatever the so fuck. The step- I forgot. The stepmother's still alive. That bitch is still alive. And now she walks in and sees, uh, sees him getting murked. Of and- all the rooms in the fucking castle, you somehow went to that one. So then the stepmother's trying to run away, and one of the the henchmen, like, stabs her. Is that the motherfucking lead singer from Aerosmith? <laughs> <laughs> Jaded. <laughs> Ran off into the fucking night, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden, uh, why are the cops and military there? I know. Who called them? That oh, nobody? Great question. Because there isn't phones? Maybe they were there because it's the, the king and the queen. So they're like the guard. That's always there. Oh, so now the stepmom comes out like a bitch. Oh, it's a bloodbath, like tattletelling, huh? Yeah. Yeah, guess what happens to snitches? <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, she won't have time to get stitches. She's like, oh, go check. Were stitches even invented back then? Yeah, probably. That would fuck that. There were like, stitches in Game of Game of Thrones. Were there? Yeah. Because remember, um, I, or uh, Arya gets fatally wounded, and somehow survives to the next episode. And the lady's stitching her up. Wiener, 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 wiener. You don't remember that? I do. It's not the police officers. Oh, yeah, he's looking at the book, and he sees himself. But was he seeing himself, like, whispering into a kid's ear? I guess. He's like, I remember this. This was last week. And now the the kind of the creatures, the henchmen there, they come up behind him and grab him. Mm, bye, bitches. So you could. What if I had a picture of you in the drive-thru, Taco Bell, <laughs> you at your house, on the toilet, and then it's like, the end. We're like, well, I do love myself some cheesy gorditas. Right. Maybe it's like a. <laughs> hopefully, it's a you know like a like an easy pleasant poop. I mean, I, I mean, hope once it says the end, <laughs> I don't think it is. No, probably not. 
<laughs> like, well, let's skip talking about. Well, it's my lunch break. So then Cinderella shows up and starts taking out guards. Damn. If all of a sudden Jason Statham is her fucking stunt double. I mean, seriously, like, you know, the way she's taking people out, like. Who? Oh, she blew up another cartridge. It, carriage. Yeah, another carriage, yeah. Like, with her, her psychic abilities. That is pretty fucked up. Could you imagine if you survived this night and told your story? No, there was a girl, and we were all going to make fun of her. But then all of a sudden, she started blowing shit up and fucking making the chandelier shake. Like, it was nuts. Nobody yeah. would believe you. No, they'd be like, oh, they'd bullshit. They'd put you right into the fucking institution <laughs> that motherfucking day. She is possessed. She is possessed with the with with the devil. With the devil. Oh, she knows what I can do. Here comes the fairy godmother. Yeah, so then the... Is she going to have a standoff with the fairy godmother? So the Cinderella sh- like shows up to the, the, the fairy godmother and she tells her there's only one way out now. And she says, maybe I can help you with that. Oh. And uh, so they're going to kill the stepmother. Hell yeah. She's like that. Like, I would jump up as high as I can. And, like, elbow drop her right in her spine. <laughs> Especially, she said that you have more courage than your father. I mean, yeah. what, she killed her father? So, uh, that's what I'm saying. Oh, your father, your father cried father like a cried baby. cried like a baby. When I slit his throat. Wow. So, she murdered his father, or her father. See, like that. I would break her spine at every... How many vertebrae do you have? Um, 17? It's, it's a lot, yeah. So, I would break her spine in 17 places. What so, the fuck? Then she cho- starts choking her out, and you see like some the book design on like, her face. Yeah, like the book design on her face. And then she stops choking her. Nope. Is she gonna let Ew. her live? Maybe she can't die. Maybe it's the fucking Highlander. <laughs> they are immortal. <laughs> they haven't jumped in a. I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. The Queen song. I don't fucking know that song, man. Your father would be wow. ashamed. So she wants, she was going to give leniency and let her live. But See, then n- fucking the stepmother was like, your father would be ashamed. You coward. What would Johnny Lawrence do right now? Sweep the leg. <gasps> he says, let it hurt. And then let all him of a sudden, cook. the stepmother gets set on fire. God, the step, no, the step. Oh, yeah. The fucking other stepmother, her fucking eye, her goddamn makeup is still on point. Because she looked confused as fuck. Like, damn, you just lit this bitch on fire? Cinderella gives zero fucks. See, I still don't think that's bad enough, man. Like, I'd put her out so that way she was still alive. And I'd go kick her a couple times in her ribs. Well, but yeah. Look how surprised the fucking fairy godmother looks. Like, God damn. See, like, I'd heal her. And then I'd hurt her again. And then I'd heal her. <laughs> and then I'd hurt her again. Jeez. I'm telling you, man. I, I'm i fucking... You're brutal, dude. Hell yeah, dude. So, Cinderella and the fairy godmother are walking through the forest. And that face makeup is still creepy. Fucking gonna give me nightmares. <laughs> so you come with me. She's like, no. You see, I'm alive. And Phil of of my characters. No, I'm alive, and I look good. I'm gonna go get some wiener. Speaking like an incantation. Jesus. So like, you see these pearls. So now she's saying, what if I don't want to become one of, like... Yeah, why the fuck would you? The henchman. Anthony, instead of being, like, an attractive guy, come and look like a fucked up mongloid with fucking... (laughs) Yeah. A burnt face and no hair. They kind of look like, uh, you know, like the Cenobites from, like, uh, from Hellraiser. Never get laid again or fucking see a fresh pair of tits. Welcome into your home. God damn. Does her eye get lower every motherfucking time? It's, there's only space. Cinderella for- says there's only space for one queen. And then 
takes the the shoe and stabs the fairy godmother in the head in the top of the damn like through the the top of the dome those are some big so is she going to become nuts. the controller of the cenobites hell yeah she is but here's something if you are already dead how do you get fucking murked up again and so now the three motherfucking hell hydras are going following her now yes because apparently they will literally follow hey, whoever you just killed this person whoever just killed the person that Damn they were supposed oil. to be following jesus so they follow her into the fog and wouldn't that's our movie who goes to the house i it's a great question you know what i'm saying like after i did that i'd say all right I'm motherfucking moving in, bitches. Th- that would be my house at that point because it would. stepmother's gone. Yeah. And if you said, hey, what happened to the king and queen and prince and princess and his girlfriend and all these other people here? I'd say, what'd you say? And then I'd fucking get my little henchman to like, who <laughs> grab your dick off. <laughs> yeah. Give him the old dick twist. <laughs> twist and pull. All right. Let's all do right. this. Well, uh, we'll be back with final thoughts on <laughs> Cinderella's <laughing> curse. <laughs> All right, we're back with final thoughts on Cinderella's curse. Cinderella's curse. I don't know why it was called Cinderella's curse. Can I think about it? That is a great question. I didn't even think about that throughout the movie. There's which, no motherfucking curse. She, I, one million percent support her fucking doing yes what she did you know what i'm saying like i love the whole fucking twist of this movie where you know unfortunately like i mean i wish there were more movies and shows and shit like that like this you know like um what is it kind of going off subject like the boys for instance, on Amazon. Like, that one's kind of, you know, like, just because you have superpowers, why does why do you have to be a, a good guy? Exactly. You exactly. know, look at, what is it, Megamind? Yeah. The kids show? Mm-hmm. Where that guy, he's like, I have all these superpowers. Why do I have to be a good guy? Who's going to stop me? You know? So, with this one, this movie, why... Why do you have to have it have like a fairy tale ending and a fairy tale? Everybody's so nice to you. And yeah, you know, fuck that. There are pieces of shit in this fucking world Mm -hmm. that do shit like this. Absolutely. And when she went on her fucking murderous rampage, I fucking loved it, dude. Like every single one of those assholes deserved it. If they could have been tortured and hurt more, (laughs) I would have loved that one. After watching them do that mean shit to her. And then they luckily got burnt or chopped quickly. You're fucking, you better be thankful. You know, I fucking, I love the twist that it wasn't a happy ending. I love the twist that it shows that there's such assholes in this world that would actually do fucked up stuff like this because they think it's funny. And I love that the bad guys got what they deserve oh know? yeah now this like i i did appreciate that we get that you know like the the meanness and the depravity of that scene where she shows up to the ball and she gets treated terribly and mm-hmm. she really gets you know like put through this terrible situation because Everything she does after that point is now justified. Oh, a million times. And and <clears throat> that that scene does act as sort of like a permission structure. So like you as the audience can be like, yeah, get him. Yeah. Fuck him up. And that's the thing, like again, I fucking put myself in those fucking shoes yeah. when she was being hit and made fun of everything i was like oh dude that's fucked up oh Mm -hmm. no you know like you feel for her like 
you know, it was sad of what was going on. And then, like, you remember watching the trailer and you're just like, oh, yeah, shit's going to hit the fan real quick. Which, I mean, we get, you know, a few of those kind of like, uh, like those flash forwards, I'll call it. Like, Yeah, we didn't know what those were. Yeah, like, we don't really know what it is until we see it. But we get these these sort of flash forwards to what she's going to do every time she touches the book. And it kind of prepares you for that a yeah. little bit. And the thing I appreciate about this movie is I've loved the kind of the jagged edge movies of the past. Mm-hmm. But, but. I, I, but I will say. A butt sandwich. I, <laughs> I will say that. This is kind of like Jagged Edge growing up. And like it kind of felt like everything before was a slasher. And we're we're getting a slasher version of everything. Whereas this is we are telling the story of Cinderella, the oppressed person yeah. who, who happens to murder people. I can see that. I can see that. And it it's creating a world around the slasher as opposed to creating a slasher and then putting a world around it. Yeah. It's a it's a different concept. It's a different feel. Yeah. Like, I feel 100%. like we're getting a full movie here. Yeah, like this one, you know, like we were talking, like there's movies that people kill people and they're like that. And then like at the very end, there's like, well, you ran my dad off the ice road back in 1984. And you're like, so that made you fucking yeah. kill an entire town of fucking like, teenagers that were on a summer camp? Like, I, I know you need a reason like, damn, bro. to do things, but like... But this one yeah. showed you yes. why it was. And I think that makes you fucking 100% get on Cinderella team. Because you kind of like go through like, I want to say like 40, about 40-ish minutes of like Cinderella's lived experience of just being treated like garbage. And literally being forced to murder somebody. Like, we should make a shirt that says... And then clean it up. Like, Team Cinderella. Fucking fuck yeah, dude. And have her face on it, you know? Yeah. Because that's 100%. And they'll be like, what's that about? I'll be like, well, guess what it's about, bitch. Fucking, you know? And like I said, like, (laughs) I don't know... I'm Team (laughs) Cinderella. I don't know if this will get us canceled or not, but, you know, there's talking about, you know, shootings that happen. Guess what? Cinderella fucking had every right to <laughs> to blast up that fucking ball. And she does a lot of damage with a shoe. One shoe. One shoe. See, we don't need to take away guns. <laughs> Which, <laughs> I give mean, give everybody glass slippers. Normally, like seeing uh, a bunch of kills with one object gets kind of samey, but they did a really good job of kind of mixing up the kills a little bit so it doesn't feel that right way. like that goddamn shoe yeah to the face every fucking time like goddamn the shoe the to the gore, face the shoe to the neck there's, the gore there's on few. people's faces every time they got hit on it like goddamn like <laughs> everybody's face was fucked in half yeah like jesus the gore was on point but it wasn't just like a gory movie for no reason at all. It was a gory movie and they deserve that gore. Yes. You know, like I didn't see one person's fucking guts get ripped out and like that. But if somebody's guts would have been ripped out, they would have been justified because guess what? You guys were fucking dickheads and you deserve if you're a fucking bully yeah. and you're a fucking piece of shit like that, you deserve what's coming to you. You know, exactly. And the Act like dick faces kind of like I, I do like that there were moments where they did like sit on a kill for a minute where like it took a while to get to it where, you know, it was like the people that really deserved it. And it's like with like Prince Levi or Prince Levin or, um, you know, like where I believe one of the stepsisters, the stepmother. The, mm-hmm. I think both of the steps stepsisters actually, um, like they kind of they kind of sit in the moment a little bit as opposed to like you know slashing and moving on. 
Like those <clears throat> people that were just in the ball, the extras. Yeah, they, they treat them differently. So the, there's a bit of, uh, like an awareness to, yeah, you know, like who's important. Like what, what, what revenge would you really want to see? Yeah, no. And like I said, like I kind of wanted a little bit more. I, you know, I agree with you. I want a little bit more, but, you know. I get it. It I get would it. be justified, she, I she's guess. She's supposed is what to I'm be saying. the good guy. Yeah. she's. I mean, I guess not everybody's fucking, I want to say fucked up like me, but yeah, dude, I hold grudges. Yeah. Like I she's, hold grudges like a motherfucker. She's supposed to be the good guy. So, like, she's supposed to give give back less than she gets. Yeah. I guess those people that, you know, something bad happens to them, and then all of a sudden they just give one shot to the brain there it's like all right we're even no 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 i would have how the 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 one scene where she chopped off each toe by toe by toe yeah i would have gone to the next foot toe by toe by toe you know like that person has been rude to you the entire time and then they set you up to get fucked up like this like that no fuck that they need to learn a lesson Mm -hmm. like absolutely i love the twist in it i love that it wasn't a fucking oh yeah they lived happily ever after no and then that little like twist at the end where she kills the fairy godmother which we don't really get that energy until they actually like are moving towards each other (laughs) or yeah and when the fairy godmother's like come join my team i'd be like why why i'm alive i know i'm attractive Everybody who's been a dick face to me is gone. Do you see that castle? I now own it. Like, why would I want to fucking join your undead team? Exactly. Like, nah. Why don't I just run your team? Boom. Think about that. <laughs> that just happened. Shake and bake. Which, that that was a pretty awesome <laughs> moment where she just, like, takes out the fucking fairy hammer fist at it. And and then just walks off with their team. He's like, all right, guys. All right, you work like, for me now. Right. Do you it's have like, any objections? I'd be like, don't object, man. You I, saw what she just did to fucking Carol. I mean, I would make a Fast and the Furious uh, reference here, but... I mean... It's like the like Jason Momoa in, in Fast X who just like walks off with uh, Cypher's team in uh, and, and just like takes... Takes all of her bodyguards. Thankfully, I haven't seen that. That will make more sense when we get there. Oh God! <laughs> like I said, I don't. I've never seen two. Then, like I said, I thought that Jaw Rule scene was in number two. Oh. So I have no idea what two, three, four, thirteen, anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, excuse me, but I. I don't know what took me so long in the movie to realize, like, <gasps> I remember the fucking trailer. But as soon as I did, I got even more excited to fucking see it, yeah. you know, because of that twist. Instead of it being like, oh, yeah, we're going to live happily ever after. No, she fucking got revenge on everybody. Mm-hmm. Like, I fucking, I loved it, dude. It was, it was amazing. I'm literally going to text my sisters tomorrow. And be like, hey, here's a new Cinderella movie for you guys. <laughs> yeah. So. Nope, that was awesome. Yeah. So. Very solid movie. All right. Solid. Well, uh, thank you for listening. Yeah, thank you. We'll see you next time. <laughs>